Hi, and welcome to this second short tutorial on um, typical constraints that you can put into your ODK XLS form. So if you haven't, um, if you haven't followed uh, the previous uh, tutorial, then we've actually just uh, gone over how do you um, enter constraints into um, this column, under your constraint column, that um, makes sure that whatever answer is entered is greater than or equal to a certain number, whatever you define, okay? Now this tutorial is all about, well, how, how do we make sure that the answer they enter is greater than or less than um, a number that they entered previously. So how many how many people are in this household? We've said that they must be greater than that number must be greater than three. Now, how many females are in this household? We've said it has to be greater than or equal to zero, but we can't have more females in the household than there are no, uh, members total in the household. So say they've entered four people in the household, and um, then they, you ask the question, how many females are in the household, and they answer five. That doesn't make any sense, okay? That's not logical. And so ODK actually gives us an opportunity to make sure that the answers that they enter into the form are logical, okay? So that it, it actually decreases the number of errors that we get in our final, um, final data set. So we've already said that they must enter this number, point, is greater than or equal to zero, and then we're going to put and, okay, the point, okay, the, the, the answer that they enter into ODK must be less than or equal to, and then we put a dollar sign and an open curly bracket, and we put in num underscore household and close the curly bracket, and press enter, okay, and that will actually uh, make sure that point or whatever answer they enter is less than or equal to the total number of people in the household. So if they enter that there are four people in the household, they can also enter that there are four females. So maybe it's four women living in that house, but they can't enter five, okay? So it must be less than or equal to number of household members, okay? And then remember to always update your constraint message to say uh, the number of women must be less than or equal to the total number of people in your uh, household, okay? And that will just pop up a warning in case they enter something like uh, five, if, you've only ha if you only have four people in the household. We're gonna enter a very similar one here. How many pregnant or lactating females are in this household? Well, if you have, say, four women in this household, we then can't have five um, who are lactating or pregnant. So we must say point is less than or equal to. Now we're going to make this based on not the number of people in the household, but the number of females in the household. Okay, so num underscore women, close curly bracket. And that will just check that the answer is less than or equal to the number of females entered, okay? And then you can um, give a warning, sorry, this is more women than you reported live in the household, okay? And that is... Um, what we can do to finish that constraint. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. And um, if you want to continue, then we're going to be doing uh, a small uh, follow-up tutorial on making these questions relevant based on um, previous answers. So you probably won't want to ask this question unless this question is um, more than zero. So um, that will come in the relevancy and I'll follow that up with another short tutorial. Yeah.